Hello, my name is Ben Loscano. I'm a 38 year old male from Tyler, Texas, and I am a cancer patient with the NTRK or NTREC biomarker. Um, I've been um, working in student ministry for 17 years. I'm married with three children. Um, we're happy to, uh, to work for um, children in the church and, and to t lead them to um, the Lord through, throughout their life. And so that's been something that I've been doing for um, all of my career. About two and a half years ago, I felt some lymph nodes on my neck that I didn't know what they were. I just knew they were, they were solid and um, they had stuck out a little bit more than anything I had ever felt before. And so I uh, went into the doctor and the doctor wanted me to watch them and I decided to, to visit an ENT. And he uh, was also concerned, but not overly concerned. And so he uh, gave me a couple of weeks and then required a biopsy. And after that biopsy, I ended up um, being diagnosed with uh, papillary thyroid carcinoma, which is thyroid cancer. After I was diagnosed, um, the first line of treatment was to undergo a thyroidectomy and radical neck dissection. And so they ended up taking out about 30 lymph nodes and my thyroid. It was just a few months later that I discovered more swollen lymph nodes on the same side of my right neck. I ended up being pretty, pretty beat up after that first year and a half. I had four surgeries, um, the thyroplasty implant, and I had an, an, a fifth surgery on my neck. At the same time, I started seeing another oncologist. Um, it was my second oncologist. And he, it was a fresh start with somebody who had specialized in head and neck cancers. He wanted to do another biomarking test. Um, he said he felt like that if we went with uh, a, a bigger, cast a bigger net, um, we might be able to find something they missed in the first couple of tests. He called me in excitement saying, hey, we found a match for your biomarker. The NTREC or NTRK gene fusion is um, very rare in thyroid cancer patients, but you have it. And there are multiple drugs that are precise um, targets for that type of cancer, that type of gene fusion. And so I was very excited and he's, he was excited. And that was uh, a great breakthrough in my treatment as I was not gonna need radiation as thought. I ended up trying out um, entrectinib or Roslitrec, and that was uh, my doctor's first recommendation. They said um, that there were some possibilities that there would be some major side effects for a few days and then it would subside potentially. The, by the end of the, the first week, um, I reached out to my oncologist and just said, I'm, I'm still struggling, it's getting worse. I ended up um, after one week stopping entrectinib. And so he said, we want to hang on to that for a potential future because you're not in a dire situation where you need it. Um, and so that's where I am right now is, is waiting for another scan to come up here in a couple of weeks. Um, and then we'll decide how to proceed forward. There are some other drugs in that, in that family. Um, that are, are different and so we're excited that maybe one of those will work, one of those will be a little bit um, less intrusive on, on my body. Since that news hit me, I've, I've had a renewed sense of, of hope and an upbeat spirit about what this means for me. And so I'm, I'm excited at, at 38 years old, um, I'll be 39 tomorrow, um, I've got a, a great outlook on, on my future and I'm hoping that in time, um, a lot of the oncologist's advice is if it's a waiting game, Ben, if you can wait 
long enough. Technology is changing and advancing so fast in the arena, arena of biomarker testing and therapies that just a couple of years will buy you um, potentially a lot of options that weren't there just a couple of years ago. There are people like you that you can find. Um, you got to dig a little bit, but they're there. Find them on social media or um, a local um, support group or even a, a virtual support group. I've tried them all. They've all been helpful. And talk to them and ask questions. Tell them your anxieties and your your deepest, darkest fears. Um, there's nothing more helpful than, than hearing somebody who's been through it a little before you or even way before you. Um, that's been the biggest help for me outside of my family and my, and my God. <laughs>